The last objective we're gonna talk about is how I can take advantage of cloud-based collaboration solutions. We had to examine this from two points. The first thing we had to look at was, how does this work when you're behind the firewall, when we have everything going on inside our own multi-office pond? What works best and what are the limitations for tools like the Revit collaboration tools that allow us to share central files in a way that we've never shared them before? It cut down on a lot of redundant tasks and it makes the files load faster and perform more efficiently than our, in our typical WAN network. The other thing we want to look at is what happens when we go outside the firewall and what are the effects on security and also what are the effects when you integrate CAD into the system. If I have some background files that have to be shared across multiple projects that are CAD based, how do I deal with that? because the Revit collaboration tools really don't deal with it very well. So it's important before you make a decision about using the software that you go and know those features, know them well, so that when the project starts, you're not having to backtrack and start over again with a different solution. So it's really important to understand how the cloud-based solutions work. The biggest takeaway is understanding which one of these products you need to use based on the type of project that you're doing. When do I singly focus on a WAN solution, my old traditional system. When do I go to something like Vault for document sharing? And when do I start to engage the cloud collaboration tools? When do I really get a benefit from using all these tools? And when can I do this to get the best return on investment from all of them?